بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سالار خان ہیئر اینڈ کنٹینیوئنگ دا ٹاپکس وی ٹوڈے وی اسٹڈی دی آرٹیکل ٹو پوائنٹ فور آف دی بک ان وچ وی ہیو واٹ ان وچ وی ہیو دی پیرل اینڈ سیریز پیرل ڈائیوڈ کنفیگریشنس سو پیرل اینڈ سیریز پیرل ڈائیوڈ configurations now again what do this means so you know this very well these are basically circuit analysis uh, but we have a diode involved so we're basically practicing some network theory anyways so uh, what do we have is let's say the first is example 2.10 example 2.10 is the first in which you are given a circuit it's a 10 volts positive source over here then you have a resistor that resistor is a 0.33 kilo ohms then you have a diode which is in parallel like this basically till here it's a series circuit then you have a parallel a diode over here so this is a silicon diode one this is a silicon diode two silicon both this is two this is diode one this is ground determine v naught i1 v naught i1 id1 and id2 for the parallel diode configuration V naught is this one at this point. This is ID2. This is ID1. This is I1, the resistor current. So, first of all, what? First of all, the diode on or off state. Have a look. The P side of both the diodes are connected to the positive terminal of the battery. The battery potential is greater than the individual barrier potential. So, these are in the on state. So, let us draw the equivalent circuit. This is a 10 volt source. This is a resistor. Whatever the value is, you have a 0.7 uh, over here and then you have a 0.7 over here. So, have a look for the first. For the first V0, so V0 is across the parallel combination over here. So this definitely, uh, uh, voltage across the parallel elements is the same. So this is the same, V0 is 0.7 volts. Then you have I, uh, so which means this potential has the this voltage, right, as well, this point. This, then this, uh, uh, this current is unknown. So the current, I1 would be what? I1 you could write as what? This potential minus this potential divided by the resistance value. So 10 minus V0 is 0.7 and divided by the resistance value is 0.33 into 10 power 3 and this value comes out to be 28.18 in milliamperes. 28.18 milliamperes. Or is it 20? Is it, it's 28, right? Yes, you've got the current. Now ID1 and ID2 is unknown. So this is a node. This is ID1. This, uh, this is ID2. So have a look. KCL would state what that? You have I1 is equal to ID1 plus ID2. And basically these two currents are the same. ID1 and ID2. Why? because they are flowing through the same element connected in parallel so have a look the same thing is connected over here the same thing is connected over here the same potential is occurring over here the same ground is occurring over here so which means these two currents are the same i can write that my i1 is twice of let's say i replace it by a current i so this id1 is equal to id2 is which is let's say i is equal to this i1 divided by 2 so this would come out to be what 14 point something or 14.09 milliamperes and this is what it is next example 2.11 example 2.11 so uh, what do you have is a plus 8 volt source over here then you have a resistor r you have a green resistor in the 
फॉरवर्ड मैनर अ ग्रीन एलईडी एंड देन यू हैव एन रेड एलईडी कनेक्टेड ओवर हेयर which is like this and this is what the circuit is so these two diodes are connected in parallel leds and this is the ground terminal now the the barrier potential for red is 1.8 for green is 2.2 i believe uh, let me check please wait the it's it's 2 for green volts for green it's 2 For green, it's two. Let's say so. Two volt is for green. So have a look. <clears throat> the plus eight volt is forward biasing the green one, whereas it's reverse biasing the red one. So this one would be an open circuit equivalent. And what we have is this would be your plus eight volt source, and then you would have what? You would have a a, a resistor R, and you can have it a straight one. so for the green you have a you have a two volts two volts and it is grounded this is two so a current will flow and that current is this one but what are we asked in the question is the resistance value given in the example two leds can be connected apply a positive source voltage find the resistor r to ensure a current of 20 milliamperes for the on diode configuration so the current is given basically i i is given to be 20 milliampere and this value r is unknown so have a look again we've got a very simple one so starting from plus 8 volts to a uh, to a minus r times what 20 into 10 power minus 3 and then a plus minus so minus 2 and this is equal to 0 and have a look you've got the value of r which would be 300 ohms which would be 300 ohms right yes so uh, what uh, do we have is uh, you could also do it by other ways this potential minus this potential divided by the value of current right or whatever it is so anyways anyways now the book has done something else it has replaced the green diode by a blue diode or whatever so so you can read it out for yourself you can read it out for yourself example 2.12 or you can practice it if there is something to be practiced fine so anyways let's say we have now the next is example 2.12 you have a 12 volts positive source then you have a silicon diode okay and then you have a resistance of 2. Point, uh 2 kilo ohms and then you have over here you have a green led so let me draw the green led with the green color the green led is connected in this way these are proper pro, draw the proper arrows for yourself determine voltage v not for the network and the v not voltage is across this and v not is the only parameter unknown so 12 volts is so forward biasing the silicon diode it forward biasing the green diode the green diode has A, a, a any voltage of 2 volts the bar, this one has 8.7 volts will it both will they both be turned on what do you say pause the video what do you say let me know in the comment section yes yes i'm asking you please pause the video let me know hmm what do you say will they both be turned on huh yes tell me so you are not telling me right so i will tell you if you are not telling me so should i leave it or should i tell you i hope you have commented so yes the thing is that it will not turn on both of the diodes why because once the one minute when you apply a potential across something so it does not directly appear through across that thing let's say a plus 10 volts is applied across a resistor of some value 
so that voltage will appear through that resistor but but it it will take a time although in the milliseconds range in the microsecond range take it to the nanosecond range but it will take some time that time is called the built up time or what built up time let's say and that that is building up the voltage across that thing which means if you could suppose it to be that you are increasing the knob with the time so the voltage over there is building up fine so have a look that time this circuit will also take and when it when it builds up the 0.7 volts across this when it builds up the 0.7 volts across the silicon diode if the circuit if the if the voltage is increased beyond that light is gone the light is gone let me finish this point and then we'll continue when the light comes so when we increase the voltage beyond that this this will not allow it why because these two are connected in parallel and 0.7 volts and 2 volts connected in parallel together cannot be done this will violate the laws the voltage has to be the same in parallel so if these both are on 0.7 this two is on no both of them cannot be on at the same time the earlier one will be on which means the equivalent circuit would be like this you have a 12 volts you have a 0.7 volts you have a resistor r you have the ground 0.7 2.2 kilo and you will have a current you will have a current let's say i name it i and you would have a an open circuit equivalent for this one so have a look what could you do now you could say a plus 12 volts a minus 0 0.7 uh, minus uh, i times 2.2 kilo is equal to zero find the value of i what is the value of i has the book found it or have they directly just written it? You can find the value of I by yourself and then the voltage across this is unknown which is V0. So V0 would be I times R and you could find it for yourself. Or you could do the use the potential at points formula. You have a plus 12 volts, you have a minus 0 0.7, you are stopping at this point right so let us continue with this discussion when the light comes okay so let's continue our discussion from yesterday okay so the the previous portion that you just saw i had recorded it yesterday and when the light was gone so i thought to take a break and i went outside and then i had to go somewhere and yesterday is gone so so which means that I am recording a single video in two days. Anyways, so we are done with example 2.12. The next is example 2.13. Example 2.13. Okay. So let me draw the circuit first. We are given a 20 volt source. A DC source again. A 20 volts plus minus of course and then you have a silicon diode connected over here and then you have a, a this is diode d1 then you have over here another diode uh, which is again a silicon and this is named as d2 and we have a resistor over here r2 uh, and its value is given R2 and its value is what 5.6 kilo ohms similarly we have a 3.3 kilo ohms resistor in parallel over here 3.3 kilo ohms and this is named as R1 and this circuit is complete over here and it's grounded okay what is unknown determine the current I1 I2 I1 I2 and ID2 for the network and ID2 for the network so these things are unknown now what are these so I1 is the current through R1 I2 is the current through R2 and 
similarly id2 is the current through this so the current that will flow here this is i2 the current that will flow through this resistor is i1 i1 i2 and this one this one is id2 so first of all what have what do you have to do you have to check if the diode is on or off so the plus is connected to the p side minus connected to the n side both the diodes yes yes so followed by a single condition and then you have what the, the external voltage source is greater than the barrier potential of the diode so which means again that the diode is on right yes so let me draw the equivalent circuit and if i draw it so if this is my 20 volts source and then i replace this diode by a 0.7 volts and then i replace this one by another 0.7 volts i have a resistance over here and similarly this resistance let me show it over here is this fine it is the values of course this is 5.6k this is 3.3 kilo ohms fine so what is unknown uh, so i1 i2 and let's go step wise so i1 uh, would be what first of all if i1 we talk about so i1 is if the current through this diode so which means this is the potential across this divided by the resistance so the potential is what it's i1 is v1 upon r1 and v1 is what it's, it is in parallel with this the, uh, with this 0.7 volt so which means the voltage has to be the same across both so this is a 0.7 and the resistance is 3.310 power 3 so the value of i1 comes out to be calculated do check out the calculations 0.212 milliamperes 0.212 milliamperes fine now this was i1 this one now i2 with, with this one the one flowing in this loop so the overall current so let me apply kvl to the loop so you have a plus 20 volts then you have a minus 0.7 then you have another minus 0.7 and then you will have this minus uh, 3.6 k times i and this is equal to zero so you solve this for yourself for i2 and 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 what uh, you have the value is 18.6 18 uh wait wait please wait yes yes it's fine 18.6 divided by 5.6 kilo ohms uh, this is 5.6 yes this this one so I was confused in this so the value of the current it's a uh, 3.32 milliamperes and similarly the voltage uh, you could find out as well V2 uh, you could multiply this with the value and uh, with the value of resistance and you have V2 is equal to 18.6 volts 18.6 volts now what is unknown V2 is it i1 is done i2 is done in id2 so this is id2 so id2 so you have i1 so if you consider this node if this one is unknown now the current in this branch so if you apply the kcl this time so you have i2 is equal to id2 plus i1 which means that id2 is i2 minus i1 i2 minus i1 and the value right you calculate check it the calculation is 3.11 milliamperes 3.11 milliamperes is that fine it is let me have a thing have a little more discussion right so let's say we have another example now this is not from the book we have a 10 volt source you have a 0 0.33 ohms resistor i don't know if this is 0.3k or what whatever let's suppose we have it as 0 0.33 ohms then you have a diode then you have two diodes in parallel with it this is diode d1 silicon one and then you have another one which is let's say a silicon two 
what is unknown v not is unknown which is the outward polarity v not then you have i1 which is the current through this resistor then you have what id1 and id2 id1 and id2 is unknown so let's get started first of all you have to check what you have to check of course for the diode to be on or off so is this on is this off so plus is connected to p negative to connect it to minus negative connect to n of both the diodes the external voltage is greater then the applied biasing potential that is 10 volts is greater than then 0.7 volts which means both the diodes are on so the equivalent circuit would be like this you have a 0.7 volts over here let me draw it let me show it by a bigger value because i draw that one very big so anyways so so have a look now so first of all we not we not was unknown which is the voltage over here with a plus minus V naught polarity. So, oh, sorry, V naught polarity. So, V naught would be what? This is 0.7, this is 0.7, it's in parallel. So, which means the, 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 the polarity over here would be also the same plus minus. So, V naught comes out to be 0.7, first of all. Okay, then you have I1. So, for I1, you can apply the KVL through this loop. So you have a negative positive 10 volts. So you have a 10 uh, minus the resistor value is given 0.33 times I1 min, uh, minus 0.7 and this is 0. Find out the value of I1 from this equation. What is this? Let me write it directly. So I1 is equal to 28.8 milliamperes. 28.8 milliamperes. All right, yes. Now, ID1 is unknown, ID2 is unknown. So, have a look, they have to come to this this node, right? So, this I1 will come over here, ID1, ID2. So, you have to apply the KCL to the loop, to the node. So, you have this I1 is equal to ID1 plus id2 and both the id1 and id2 would be the same why because they have the same potential difference no resistive no inductive element so let me name it as i so this is a two times i so which means that i is equal to id1 divided by 2 and this would be 14.09 milliamperes which is the current in both the branches Yes, so 14.09 flows in this branch, 14.09 flows in this branch. So, so do you want me to do a couple more? Do you want me to do two more? Yes, so, so let us do it, please. Why not? Let us do it. What should I remove? So let's say I remove this portion. Let me remove this portion. Yes, this is an enough space I would suggest. Or let's say I remove this as well fine so okay a 10 volt source a plus 10 volt source then you have the current like this, this circuit divides into two parallel branches resistance and diode similarly over here you have a resistance and a diode then it joins over here then you have a 2 kilo ohms resistor and then you have a ground. This is a silicon diode, this is a silicon diode, this is a 2 kilo ohms resistor, this is a 2 kilo ohms resistor. Determine V0 and ID. V0 ID. V0 is over here. So which means through this an ID is the current through the diode. ID is the current through the diode. So first of all the on or the off state. So P correct to positive, ground connected to negative N. Yes. And then the greater than the, the applied potential is greater than the very potential. So you have plus 10 volts. You have a like this. This is in the on state, right? So this is your equivalent circuit.
now if 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 id current is flowing through this diode through this branch and id current is flowing through this branch as well so which means a two id current is entering this loop and a two id current has to leave the loop as well so which means through this resistor a two times id current will leave yes yes because this is a parallel combination so it means if this is a node the current is leaving at this node and at this node if they are combining again so yes they are combining again so this is one point so what do you have so let's say first we uh, apply a kvl in this direction right so what do you have you have a you have a plus 10 volts you have a plus 10 volts then you have a minus 0.7 then you have a minus id times and what is the value of this resistor 2 kilo ohms and then you have a minus so have a look this is 2 into id times and 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 the value of the resistor is again 2 kilo ohms and this equal to 0 solve it for yourself find the value of id ID is 1.55 milliamperes. 1.55 milliampere. And again, V naught is unknown. So V naught is across this. So V naught is the, the, the current is the same. It's two times ID through this. You have to remember this. So it's two times ID the current through it. And the resistance value is 2 kilo ohms, which is 2 into 10 power 3. So your V naught comes out to be what? V naught comes out to be 6.2 volts. Is that fine? It is. Do you want me to have one more? Yes, let's say one more. Let's say one more. Okay. Okay. Example. Okay. So a circuit is given, you have a plus 16 volt source, then you have what, you have a silica diode, then you have what, you have two parallel branches of silica diode, you have a silica diode over here, and you have a resistor of 4.7 kilo ohms and then you have a plus 12 volts over here V naught and I okay this is V naught V naught is at this point and the current is through any branch you could take so V naught and I is unknown so first of all the basic step diode on diode off so have a look now over here you have a P connected to positive N connected to grounded of course but over here have a look if you consider this 12 volts also you have a positive connected to the N side which means what that it would reverse bias the diode this one is forward biasing this one is reverse biasing what would be the net effect the net effect of course depends on the greater value so 16 is greater than 12 so which means a forward bias and both the diodes are in the on state three of the diodes so if this is my plus 16 volts over here you have a 0.7 you have a 0.7 over here you have a 0.7 over here you have a 4.7 kilo ohms and you have a plus 12 volts over here the current the current is through which branch so the current i could take through any branch okay so i believe let's say we take the current this this current is unknown which is i so what do we do tell me we start from here plus 16 minus 0 0.7 we're going in this direction minus 0 0.7 again and then minus 4.7 in 10 power 3 times i and this is equal to 0 right 
No, 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 not equal to this. It's equal to 12. This is equal to 12. So solve for the value of i. Solve for the value of i which comes out to be 0.55 milliamperes. 0.55 milliamperes. So this is the value of current. And then V0 is the potential at this point. So what do we do? Again the potential at point. So V0. And then you have a plus minus like this. So minus 4.7 into 10 power 3 and when we also have the current the, the current value so uh, we have into 0.55 into 10 power minus 3 and this is equal to 12 volts put it equal to 12 volts and from here again you could find out the value v naught which is 14.6 volts and I believe that is it I believe that is it. I should not get you bored. So what do you think? Should we do more examples in the next video? What do you think? Should we do more examples? If you want more examples, let me know in the comment section. I will do more. And, or if you don't want, so I will just direct jump into directly jump into the rectifier circuits. Anyways, that's it for this one. Now, and why are the diodes connected in parallel? Multiple diodes of the same characteristics can be connected in parallel to increase the current carrying capacity of the circuit. Let me write over here. Multiple diodes. Of the same characteristics can be connected in parallel to increase the current carrying capacity of the circuit. We do not have to do anything with this. We do not have to go in the detail. It was written in the book, so I told you. Anyways, we've solved the circuit. That's it for today. See you in the next lecture very soon, inshallah. Till then, take care of yourselves and everyone around you. Do remember me in your prayers. Goodbye.